Love and light, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal, the raw spiritual guru coming through. And today I am coming through with a spiritual talk for you guys today. And we are going to dig deeper into the spiritual meaning of keys, keys, keys. Now, these are some powerful keys that I got. So I am, I had a few um, and I decided to spice them up with my magical gifts, you dig? So, of course, this is the Rose Quartz one. This is the Lapis Lazuli one. But this is originally how they came. And these are some ancient cast iron. Ancient cast iron. Large, too. Like, they are, like, literally my hand. Like, um, cast iron skeleton keys, right? So, First and foremost, before I get into this video, so I'm so excited about sharing this with you guys. But before I get into this video, what's going on? It's your girl, Crystal, the Royal Spaceship Guru coming through, guys. If you don't know, I am the guru, okay? Yes, I do pick a cards and various tarot readings, but I also do spiritual practices as well as different spiritual healing sessions and one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions as well. So if you was interested, please email me or go to my website roots of life one two three to find out more information right so we want to dig deep into these spiritual keys skeleton keys but let's just talk about keys as a whole right so keys when you think about keys keys tend to be things that open or close lock in right so when you think about keys you think about either different openings that happen into your life or different things that close that's closed in and locked in right so a key can sometimes represent duality that is either freedoms or being bound life or death okay open or closed right so when you think about keys you need to think about the deeper meaning of that keys can also open different doors for you okay so they open is a um key is an opener okay keys are an opener to lock things right so you ever heard the saying oh you hold the key to my heart yeah or i hold the key to their heart because you had such a force on this person that only your key can unlock their heart right so um that's one of the sayings many sayings for keys you hold the key to my heart um keys is also basically it helps to open new opportunities in your life whether it is opportunities in love or just various things like it opens doors it opens doors for you um so keys also represents knowledge power health wealth and love okay so when you look at your key now you're going to look at it in a deeper in a deeper way you're gonna say wow this key is powerful because it really is right so keys are really powerful because people don't really take the time to dig deeper into the spiritual meaning of things and keys which we all have a key maybe not this skeleton key but we all have a key of some kind that opens many doors that we don't even think twice actually that's not true we have a key that opens a particular door but the skeleton key opens many doors okay so when we talk about the skeleton keys right so what differs with the skeleton keys from our regular keys right so if you just look at these cast iron keys that i have these keys all have a story okay these keys all have a story and actually when i was creating the first one this rose quartz one is rose quartz with gray pearl and kyrie shell and um this one actually really spoke to me guys like um when i was creating it like i felt the energy of this key it had belonged to a woman that was um facing trauma it belonged to a woman that was facing trauma and the vision that I received from this key. Um, it was like she was trying to protect herself. 
but in the vision it was like she was going through a lot of pain and agony but this key was she was able to grasp this key to unlock her from the torture that she was facing like she was like held capture and this key was her freedom i know i know that's what the message i got i'm telling you guys um i was going to just pull a car or two for these but it could get real deep because each one of these keys have a meaning so this one i was bound to do some type of love crystal for i was like you know i had to put a lot of love energy in this key because it was someone that overcame a traumatic time but each one of these keys have powerful energy guys like they all have a story they all have powerful energy these skeleton keys are very magical okay what people don't understand is these are very magical okay it's deeper history on skeleton keys with whatever you believe in but these are some magical keys. They are they are great for your spiritual practices as well. With the skeleton keys, they are openers and passages. So what that means is they still do open opportunities for you and new experiences, but they also break barriers so you can pass through. So whatever it is that you're trying to go through in your life, a skeleton key would be very beneficial and you don't necessarily have to have one of these large skeleton keys i'm actually going to try to grab some more smaller versions for you guys if you wanted like a pendant possibly made but these ones are going to be in my store for like home because um these keys can protect your home as well and i'll talk about that in a second but these are going to be more so the home decor keys um now if you want to put it on your neck that's totally your discretion. I got a loop just in case you did. You dig? But, um, so when I say passages, it allows you to break the barriers. It allows you to break barriers of your mind as well as on this physical plane. And what it does is it basically prepares you for whatever course you're about to sell. It prepares you for your journey, your next journey on whatever journey you are about to embark. It is going to break the barrier that is basically between you and your next journey. So the skeleton keys is really powerful for that. You can use it also in um, your magical practices um, just because these are magical um, in general. Like a lot of the ancients utilize skeleton keys, um, you know, for openings and closings as well. So um, I'll talk about that in a second, but let me talk about the home. So how you would use these in your home. So what they do is they help protect your home from getting took in or from any type of entities or enemies they is like a great home barrier so what you can do is if you have a home a house um you want to put this on you want to put this in the interior of your front door okay you want to put this in the interior of your front door and you can put it however you want i really like to add crystals and copper to it so you can have boost energy so not only are you getting the symbolization of what the key means but you also get in what the crystal and the copper means as well and this is an ultimate love peace it heals your heart it repels jealousy and resentment it also brings in opportunities for love in all forms so it's already an opener this right here is very powerful along with the water energy of the Kyrie shell and the pearls it's a beautiful piece and this one is these are going to all be one of a kind so kind of once they're gone they're gone so grab them now if you was interested but overall like i was saying though um these keys um are great for your home protection so you'll put this in the interior of your front door and you'll hang it up and it'll protect your home from being lost it will protect your home from like any type of negativity or negative energies that try to present themselves um, in your home. It will help give you the benefits of the crystal as well as the shell as well, right? So this is a great piece to have. And you can have multiple in your home. You, can ha you want to really have it on your primary door, your front door. Even if you have an apartment, you can have it like right 
if you don't have like anything like a like a two doors if you have it in your apartment you can have it like hanging right before you leave out the door if you know what i'm trying to say but you want to have it right near your primary door but you can have multiple in your home as well if you want to have it in various rooms you can have it there as well but the ultimate goal is for it to protect your home protect your space protect your area um so that's a great thing to utilize these beautiful beautiful keys for now as far as how you can use them in your magical practices your spiritual practices right so you can use these um in your altar work or you can just use these like similar to um um well you can use it in your altar work you can use it in your spell work you can cast a spell on these keys you can cast a spell on just about anything it's really your attention but with the meaning of the keys you can cast a love spell. You can cast a money business spell um, as well. Um, I believe you can also cast a protection spell. But ultimately, what you will want to do is you will want to sit. Like, I can go over the different spells with you if you was interested. And I do have a course coming up about magic one-on-one -on -one and how you can do use ancient practices to your modern day life or whatever but um you know i'm more so of a root worker so i deal with the ancients with my work so i can give you guys my wisdom going forward with my courses that i will have up pretty soon on my website so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to my website guys join that mailing list so you can stay tuned about what's going on coming forward but yeah, so um, you can definitely cast a spell on these and you can just set the intention as to what blockages you want to clear, what barriers you want to clear and what path you would like to embark on. And when you set your intentions on the key, you have to be very intentional. I always say because these keys hold so much energy of past lives and it went through so many different hands, you might want to sage them. A couple times you could throw them in your windowsill or let them rest with the moonlit um, during a full moon just to cleanse them with new energy with your energy and then you want to set your attention so um, I always like to do attentional work during moon cycles you could do it at any time but I'm just really connected to the moon so i like to do attentional work during moon cycles but you could do it at any time and you'll set the attention as to what barrier you want to break because with the keys the keys help you embark on your new journey especially a lot of keys come into your life when you are going through a cycle so whether it's a breakup whether it's a move whether it's a career change um whether it's um a divorce or new love they usually come into your life when a cycle is about a new cycle is about to happen for you um so funny story was i was at a flea market and i was just you know looking at a fellow sister that did copper rap like me and i was like oh, okay i like looking at other people's pieces because we all do different art right and she had all these keys on her stand and i'm like do you know what the keys represents and sis was just selling the keys. She was kind of selling them really pricey too. Um, so, you know, me and her talk business. And, you know, somebody asked her what the keys meant. And she looked at me to tell them and at her table. And I was a customer. So that just tells you a lot. You know, a lot of people just sell things to sell them. But if you really look deeper into the meaning, you'll see that keys is actually um very much so important and it's important to have these especially if you're into like um spiritual work or if you're basically entering the spiritual realm and you're trying to know yourself you feel like you're getting pulled over this would be a great tool to have as far as breaking barriers so you can get to your next level spiritually because this is a spiritual and magical piece to have okay um 
really like <laughs> i put one on my personal door as well as my room door you know what i'm saying that's me personally but this is definitely a, a good tool and then i try to make them pretty for you guys right so one of a kind keys like they're heavy they're cast iron they're in great condition they're not like um some of the keys I be seeing had that green stuff on it, the corrosion and stuff. They're they're in great condition, you know what I'm saying? And this one's the lapis lazuli with the blue and regular copper, and then this one is the rose quartz one with the pink light pink copper. I ain't get a chance to do these ones yet, but I'll do them pretty soon. And guys, I want to just say. You need to be more magical. If you don't follow me yet or you have yet to visit my store, I'm trying to tell y'all I have them wands, abracadabra like Harry Potter, you dig? I have these keys, the skeleton keys. Only going to be a few because once they're gone, they're gone. Um, depending on when you're watching this, I'm going to have some cinnamon brooms back up. All my cinnamon brooms basically got sold. They sold out, but I'm, I already got a real big cinnamon broom. It's about, it has to be about three feet. So I'm working on that one right now, but I'll have the mini cinnamon brooms again. Um, these are all for your spiritual protection and prosperity as well. Um, so <laughs> I'll have some of those. If you don't know, I sell the earrings, the rings, the necklaces, pendants. Yo, I have aura sprays um, coming soon is the oils and guys just check out your girl if you've been sleeping on me or you just come to the channel to get a pick a card don't do that don't do that okay just explore all that the i see have to offer okay because it's all magic and positive vibes over here guys and like i said if you are trying to tap more into your spiritual self your spirituality and don't know where to turn inbox me or email me because i have a course coming up for that pretty soon as well i do do one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions too guys okay so just remember I got the key, 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 key. You need one too. You dig? All right, y'all. So it's your girl, Crystal, the Raw Spiritual Guru coming through. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I see you soon. Peace.